I found um, this bike yesterday, last night, never filmed. I found a chair and I just dumped a bed rail that I found last night. Just looking around. I found a, like a weight belt there. It's got some metal weights in there. Your bike, but uh, still, still works, I guess. Yeah, these are the weights in that belt. I don't know what kind of belt that'd be, but probably just for maybe jogging, jogging weights or something. Those are the weights they have inside them. Two weights per belt. Or per square. And they're steel. <clears throat> Cut the cord off. Didn't want that, but well. I forgot to take the knobs off. That was the problem. If I didn't take the knobs off, it would have came out easy. Oh well, that's the way it goes. So it must be this one here. It's nope. weird. Everyone but. Some come off really, really easy and some are a little harder, but that's the way it is. I want that timer off there.
Yeah, I have to go to my storage and I want to cut up some wheels. Well, this has got that copper mortar in here. Cut up some wheels. It's different again. Here. Might pop the back off. Might as well take a look at this one. At least you don't. Figure just take a look. The problem these things uh too hard to get the mortar out. Doesn't want to budge. Some come off really easy but some some are tough. wire So basically, uh, I don't even see the mortar. It's probably somewhere hidden there in the bottom. So, I'm not gonna bother. It's not worth. Not worth it. Most likely, it's not gonna be copper, anyways. So it's like almost a waste of time. Take the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up that aluminum that I cleaned yesterday. I find if I clean this stuff first on the outside and then uh, strip use my stripping machine it cleans it way better otherwise if, see way it's it's uh, twirling in there what it does is it, it actually gouges the next wire when I put it on my stripping machine Uh, 
I'll throw that on my stripper machine. As soon as I put a little kinks in there, it, it, on a stripper machine it wants to derail. When it derails the blade, then it doesn't cut properly. Choose it all up. This way I can cut it. Putting my strip machine is not too bad otherwise. This thing here, like I say, has got a good mortar. Look at the copper and stuff in here. A lot of contacts and copper and stuff. It's definitely worth stripping. Never used to take those ever. I just started looking through it and thinking, well, what's in this thing? I see all these contacts. So I said, shit, that's a lot of value there. It's like these mortars too, same. These mortars are, uh, they got um, two, two layers. So, it actually it's easier to strip these. You don't have all those gears all over the place. There, that's the geared, geared side. It's a little, little different. It's got little areas you, um, little tabs on your edge. You just knock the tabs off. I'm on the cutter. Totally mangle this one here. Oh well. End result is copper. But sometimes it's brittle and breaks right to the edge. If it doesn't, you have to cut it. But if you leave any lips there, the, it gets caught on there. It takes too long to unravel otherwise. There it is. Copper. There for now. Okay. See one penny on the ground. I mean, there's more money in here. You can see another penny here. Two pennies. One American. Lots of stuff in there. 
don't see very much. Hmm. Not seeing very much. Okay. Start loading this stuff up here. Okay, I'm gonna load it up and I'm gonna show you when it's loaded and then what I'm gonna do is remove these plants that way. Move this stuff here. there see there's there's a fair amount yeah, of uh, different pieces of copper and stuff in there so it'd be worth taking out okay the stove right there and a the stove right there 50 feet away what a joke and i got a full load of crap on here but i'm gonna cut the cord off to start with yes. Cord off. I thought I saw it behind that moving truck, so cut the cord off and then come back. So I get the cord. It's better than nothing, I guess. This has to go to scrapyard. So I clean some wheels, but I'd rather just um, get these two appliances. See one right there, one right here. They're both stoves too. This one looks like a gas one. That's a gas one. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, so I ended up getting a uh, 59.75 for that load. It's 130 pounds there. Uh, price is down, you know, down a few cents, but what do you do? But anyways, like I say, you know, sometimes it's not worth cleaning that stuff, but, you know, with the ballast I had to, I had no choice because, you know, it would, it only give me probably 15, 20 cents a pound. So, you know, you know, you have to do those things. The lawn chairs, like I say, they were a little bit time consuming, but only it was because I didn't have the right a metric a socket. If I had the right socket, it would have been so, so fast, right? I had to use a crescent wrench because I didn't have anything available at the time. But anyways, uh, 130 pounds aluminum gone. Uh, we mixed it all up together, a cast sheet, everything. You know, no big deal. It's all about the same anyways. Uh, I had about four or five pounds extrusion there, but that's not a lot. 
it would only been a few cents difference anyways no not a big deal they don't pay very much anymore it used to be like a 20 cent difference uh, well, like if you get really high grade extrusion there then they pay quite a bit more for that but this low a standard uh, window stuff they don't pay as much well that was actually a screen door so it wasn't super big fixed material but anyways hopefully that uh two stoves is still there i'm rushing back to get it you just never know i see some scrappers driving not so much that area but you know around the area but we'll see that's what i say you know if, when you got a load in your car you find scrap but you got nothing you know it's slow but it's a weekend usually people do you know throw stuff out in the weekend so one is electric and one will be gas okay stay tuned hopefully it's still there Okay, that's number one. I gotta pull you in. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, got him. I'll say it's mine for sure now. And the scrappers are all around here, so I just flipped out there. Okay. Oh, look at that. The cutter is there. Okay, I got it. I wonder where that cutter went. Let me take these these things off, cast. Oh look at the big copper on there. Look at that. Nice. Nice big copper. So I'll cut it off right now. Cutters over here. Pound of copper. There it is. Okay, that's it. Happy with that free stuff here this is free here it's quite nice looking actually it's a bit falling apart but it's a brass nope steel put my back Yeah, I'm in uh, North Vancouver right now, so 
figure I might as well pick it up. Oh, it's gonna fit in my car. Barely. This thing is probably good too. I'll have to cut that later. There's a lamp here. Is that a ninja sword? Plastic. This Tonka truck's nice. It's a buddy L actually, huh? Look at that. Cool. This lamp here would be probably good. It's heavy, very heavy actually. That buddy L. It's all plastic now, but it's still good to give to some kid. But maybe some kid near you might want it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna grab. Finished an inspection I did. It was just a really boring house, so I didn't do no filming. But I uh, figured I can get a little more piece of street scrap or something going. What's this stuff here? Little door. There's a barbecue there. Wow, stuff everywhere. Everywhere I look, I see stuff. Homer looks pretty good actually. Let's see what else is up. There's a few more feet up there. Like a door there or something, a shelf. Yeah, a beat up car door. The shelf is looks like metal too, actually. Really heavy that lamp. Let's go to the door. Sometimes doors are aluminum, no, it's steel. Let's go to the window and it's steel, but. Looks it's plastic. Okay, which metal shelf? Okay. It's a doll here, but it's still good. Can I give me metal? Can I give me a metal shelf? This thing here again. Looks like a nice wooden box. That's because I was taking metal. I see out. So I put out the box. So. 
That's awesome. Just a couple of alleys like that, just like that, a lot of stuff. I've seen a couple things I passed up on too. Just a little too bulky. One was a hose reel for a garden hose, it was metal. Metal and plastic, but. See, I haven't done these areas for ages. Just never know what pops up. Okay. Heavy metal, heavy metal. Probably off a truck, it's pretty heavy. HMS, heavy metal. Okay, let's keep moving. So I like about uh, places like this, people do their own brakes and leave the rotors in the alley, which is awesome. That's like um, probably 80 pounds there, probably. 80 pounds of heavy metal. And if you just randomly look, you don't see it, right? You have to drive through these alleys. That's the only problem. Looks like it's going to be garbage day. I see so many garbage can recycling bins out. So maybe it's coming up Monday or something. I would think. Let's go and see watch traffic. People just come out of nowhere. There's a lot of junk there. Garbage. Okay, well, let's see, uh, I'll let you know, in a salad dish. It's got the feed horn on there, which is nice. Sometimes get some gold off the board. Okay. Just never know what pops up. See, you guys on bicycles look for bottles. Look at sign, maybe garbage is Monday here, so people are putting stuff out the weekend. There's always something in the alleys here. Free, clean, kid overgrown bed, overgrew bed. Huh. Stuff everywhere, here's the bottle guys. Pick up bottles. Okay. Quite heavy. a rad actually well, I've never seen a rad for a long time but well, that's a really good bonus it's also some metal here it's all kinds of metal here actually This metal's nice and heavy. That's aluminum skid plates. Wow, that's heavy, really heavy actually. Yeah, it's an aluminum skid plate. That's like 20 pounds there alone. Something else buried here. Okay, let's pull it. Fan here. Something here. It's a spring, but yeah, I don't find a ground spring. Too bulky. Oh, I had the other van on wood. 
at it. You know, thinking stainless steel bottle. Yep. Little wire. Sometimes I could be jade or something. Got a carving. Okay, I found a few things here. I found a shelf. I don't know, me to stand. I found a blender. Blender here. And then a part of a um, scooter, the top handle part. Okay. Let's keep moving. Parts and stuff. I've got stuff here before. This guy's still stuff here. Stuff here all the time. Might as well take it. Gotta recycle. Quite a long time build up. Okay, you see me all these the bikes just a few feet down. Some more metal. Kinds of metal here, so so I like when it's wrapped up nicely. Electronics here, what's this thing? Heavy DVD player, very heavy. Speakers here. Speakers and wire. Ooh, stainless maybe. I'm gonna pass on the exerciser for now. Just because it's gonna take up some room. Maybe something else will come along better. Okay. Yeah, actually pretty heavy. It's really flat. There's a saw here, this is free. Free working good. Look at that. Free saw working good. Looking good, free. I got room to put it somewhere. It's starting to build up. It's 
So working working good they say so never know. Probably is. The problem is it's really noisy those old ones. They howl like crazy. Price is right. You just never know what you find down these alleys, right? You just gotta cruise. That's why I like do the alleys because you have both blocks. You're doing, you know, stuff on both ends instead of, you know, when you're in a other location, it's a little bit harder. Lots of, lots of tires. Of a small alley, some sort of rice cooker there. I'm kind of looking for, I already saw a barbecue earlier, not a big one, but I figured I'd show you some heavier stuff. There's lots of tires on wheels. What's that thing there? Oh, it's a PS3. PS3, let's see. PS3 You never know what you find, right? What is Okay Still want to sell the road here We have this out This is the main wire Number one wire or number this other one here. Huh. Here this black one here. I'm gonna strip some of that wire, but I Let's come back later, I know the area. They set the wire off it anyways. But most likely it's gonna be here. It's been there for a while, looks like. Let me lock this off here. My drill is 
probably here somewhere. Maybe I can take this off. See if I can uh, take it out from here. No, not really. Let's come back later. No biggie. Okay. Oh. Can't get it in there. Throw it through the window. Okay. There was a street down here that had a bunch of car parts. I'm trying to find that if I can find location. Those car parts. Those are oh barbecue lid. Look at that. If I can get that in. That would be a good bonus there with aluminum top. The cast top. Let me get it in. Let it fit right here, maybe. This stupid thing here. Look at it. I'm sliding. Okay, keep moving. There's a computer hiding here. It's in this tote, tote here. There's a computer here. Awesome. It's like an older one, so you never know. Sitting there in the uh, bushes there probably for quite a while. Okay, it's the Electrolux vacuum. Electrolux. It's heavy. It's got the cord on it. That's good. Okay, uh, Vacuum here. Take the cord. 